Hello again, Mech Warriors. Welcome again to another video in our Battletech Supplement series. In this video, we will be taking a look at Error Report 3052. Error Report 3052 focuses on the early years of the clan invasion, from the initial clan touchdown in the periphery up to just after the Battle of Tukyid and Operation Scorpion. Unlike most previous books we've covered in the past, this book does not act as a historical document, but as an in-depth primer for tabletop games to be played in this specific era. After a very short history section, this book hops right into introducing all of the major factions and personas in the clan invasion conflict. It also introduces the new technologies the clan forces introduced and the inner sphere responses. At the end, it also provides a complete clan invasion campaign for classic battle tech, providing both mission tracks, more generic type battles, and touchpoint tracks, battles dealing with specific events, along with the war chest point system rules. This last section also provides a heap of information to implement into a time of war RPG. As with most Battletech supplements, this one begins with a short story titled Second Chance. This story is told from the viewpoint of two opposing leaders during the last stand of the first Hussars of the Free Rosselhog Republic against the Golden Bears. This was a great read as it really nailed the mystery of the clans to the inner sphere in that the leader of the first Hussars would refer to the clan technology with made up jargon, but you would get the actual terms when the story switches over to the Golden Bear leader, who piloted elemental armor instead of a mech which was an awesome touch. The battle covered here is an intense one taking place at a snow covered mining facility known as the Icebox in the Thule system, and would be great to recreate on the tabletop. Skipping past the introduction, this one does not pretend to be written in-universe and is just an overview of the book section by section, we come to a fairly short history chapter aptly titled History and Review. This chapter is organized by subchapters and has inserts spread about which go in-depth on various subjects. The first insert notes in detail how the real-world Battletech cartoon from the 1990s was actually an in-universe hollow adventure used as propaganda, with details of the real events greatly exaggerated. Remember, information is ammunition. The first subsection, Signs and Portents, points out the hints which should have been taken more seriously that a true invasion was about to begin, such as those covered in this book's short story. The next subsection, Invasion Begins, starts covering the invasion proper. In March 3050, the clans, having already taken the periphery, take over 30 worlds in a single month. The houses of the inner sphere would begin actively seeking the clan technology and the true viciousness of the clans is revealed. In Small Victories, the gradual recognition of clan tactics and equipment allows a few inspiring victories throughout the inner sphere. In Year of Peace, we read about an act of desperation which truly changed the direction of the war forcing the clans to make a choice to leave the Inner Sphere for a year and head back to their home worlds. In Comstar and the clans, we discover Comstar was to blame for the invasion and how they schemed to get access to a vast network of clan intelligence with a shady deal made with the Ilkhan. In Luthien, two bitter rival houses put aside their differences and work together to defend Luthien and protect the Draconis Combine. Then in Tukyid, we find out the clan's ultimate plan is to take Terra. A drastic plan is hatched by Comstar to protect the Inner Sphere by challenging the clans to formal combat on the planet of Tukyid, where it is found honor means nothing against desperation. And finally, in Operation Scorpion, we learn the failure a cult within Comstar found in its attempt to take advantage of the conflict to defeat the clans and take over all of mankind. The next chapter, titled Factions, takes an in-depth look at the state of the major factions involved in the clan invasion. Each section also spotlights a handful of notable forces involved in the conflict. The factions covered are the Federated Commonwealth, the Draconis Combine, Comstar, Free Rosselhog Republic, Free Worlds League, Capella Confederation, Mercenaries, this includes the Kelhounds, Wolf's Dragoons, Grey Death Legion, the Twelfth Star Guards, and the Black Omen, it also covers clans Wolf, Jade Falcon, Ghost Bear, Smoke Jaguar, 
Steel Viper, Nova Cat, and Diamond Shark. This is a pretty decent section for getting to know the ideals and attitudes of these factions for the era, but the Force Spotlights are the best part of this section. Each Force gets a few paragraphs of information detailing their histories and accomplishments, and they each get their individual emblem. This works as great inspiration for building a new Force, or can provide background for details in an RPG. I am a bit disappointed this book does not provide camo specs for these unique forces. Next, in the Major Personas chapter, it spotlights the individuals important to the clan invasion. Each person covered gets at least a handful of paragraphs dedicated to them, shorter or longer depending on their overall importance. All entries also include portraits from various Battletech artists, the quality of which is up to the individual. Some of these are more than obvious in their facial inspiration from other sources. The Museum Technica chapter introduces the technologies rediscovered and newly developed near the dawn of the clan invasion by the Inner Sphere, as well as those forcefully introduced by the clans. This section provides no stats for use in-game, but offers a lot of in-universe descriptions for each piece of equipment, weapon, and technology. A good number of the items have images to go along with them, but not all. One fun detail for this section is the Inner Sphere's answers to the clan technology they run into, like the battle armor descriptions. One of these images treads awfully close to the designs of a faction from another IP, but for the greater good, we will not go there. Next, onto my favorite chapter of a lot of these supplemental books, the Era Tracks chapter. Like most of the recent campaign offerings, the scenarios can be customized based on force size and randomized with sizable random assignment tables tailored for each force. While each individual scenario can be played as a one-off, all of the rules are included to run this as a campaign, such as salvage and the war chest point system. The rules for each track are unfortunately written with a player versus a game master in mind, but it is easy enough to work around for a player versus player. There are the usual scenarios included, such as Recon and Assault, but there are plenty included which are tailored to play with specific conflicts in mind, called touch points, where exact factions are specified and the narrative of the battle is more fleshed out. This chapter also includes rules for the various clan trials. The Battle of Tukiad scenario is the most fleshed out and has rules included for individual clan forces. This last chapter, playing in 3052, is where players of the Battletech RPG A Time of War will find rules tailored for that game system, as well as some optional special faction rules for the Battletech wargame systems. This is also the location of a lot of RATs for players to randomize their forces in games tailored to this era. Combining rules from this chapter with the tracks from the previous chapter would make for some very complicated but interesting games. Overall, Error Report 3052 is one of my favorite supplemental books for Battletech. There's a lot of lore and information here to chew on from perspectives all over the galaxy. It's not one of the longer books and can be picked through in a single sitting, but it is well written and would act as one of the best primers of the universe for players interested in the clan invasion era. Keep in mind, the major players here are only summarized, but most are included in Battletech novels to some degree, and the information here can act as a springboard to find other books you might like. This book also has the most interesting campaign I've seen so far, and would be my first pick at trying to start one. Like I've mentioned for previous books, I do wish this one had more information on the forces introduced, such as camo specs and the like. I give Error Report 3052 high marks. Thanks again for watching another video in my supplement series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for books to cover, please leave a recommendation in the comments. What are your favorite books, or what would you like to hear about? If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have been enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. As always, comments are very welcome. Please take care of yourselves and we will see you next time.